previously on Anchorman MTL. Alejandro, to sleep with my twin sister? How could you? Mariana, she is not your twin sister. She is a clone. <laughs> oh, hey Montreal. I'm your host and best friend Alex Melky. Never mind that. This is Anchorman MTL. Let's do it! Now, in case you were oblivious to the awesomeness of this city, you know that Hollywood loves shooting movies in Montreal. And movie sets means celebrities. Get your stalker goggles ready because this list is a big one. Starting July 25th, you can catch James Franco, Jeff Bridges, and Rachel McAdams filming The Little Prince, AKA Le Petit Prince. Ladies, you can have Franco. I'm gonna have Rachel McAdams. It's all good, we don't have to fight. Then in July, you have a little festival called Just For Laughs. And if you're lucky, you'll spot my heroes and spirit animals, Seth Rogen and Andy Samberg. Wait, I'm not done! August 6th, Anne Hathaway and Mr. Matthew McConaughey will be in town shooting the new Christopher Nolan sci-fi masterpiece Interstellar. Okay, now I'm done. And for sticking with me, here's a picture of Joseph Gordon-Levitt on a lamppost in the old port filming the upcoming Robert Zemeckis flick, The Walk. Be very, very quiet. I'm stalking celebrities. Now, Mayor Denis Carder has been on a quest to make Montreal the greatest, funnest place in the known universe. So far, some of his attempts have been less than successful. But his next endeavor? Oh, nothing much. Just bringing the World Cup to Montreal? You know that thing that everyone isn't shutting up about? That soccer thing? Yeah, that. Now if this does get okayed, it's not gonna happen for at least another 10 years. And Denis Cadac says he wants to spread the love by having the World Cup shared among four other major Canadian cities. Skeptical about this? Yeah, me too. But the mayor sat down with Major League Soccer Commissioner Don Garber and apparently he may be down. Now, say the mayor can actually get this done and bring the World Cup to Montreal. Would you really want it here? Let us know in the comments below. I love soccer, seriously, like that Pele guy? Pele! Woo! Remember those shitty haunted houses you went to as a kid? Yeah, they were a little scary when you were eight. This isn't it though, I'm talking about Per Depot in the old port. It's the new haunted house in town. Unlike those cheesy houses of horror, Per Depot is a bone chilling sight of terror for a new generation. How do they do this? By using modern visual and special effects and a small dosage of satanic rituals. You get shot into the middle of a horror film and all you have to do is survive. Girls, this might be a good way to test whether your boyfriend is going to protect you or use you as bait when a murderous psycho attacks. Makes a really great icebreaker during a first date too. You can check it out all summer. It's not gonna cost you more than $20. The only thing is that diapers are not included. I can scare people. I'm pretty good at scaring people. For example, I'm pregnant. It'd probably work better if I was a girl. Now every week at mtlblog.com, I pay my four-year-old cousin $2 to go through all your Instagram pictures of Montreal and looking for the best pictures of this city. And this week, Instagrammer at Abu Moore took one of the most impressive shots of Montreal I've seen in a while. Check out Abu Moore's account, follow MTL Blog's Instagram account, and the next time that you're out there enjoying Montreal's sweet, sweet weather, stop, take a picture. Hashtag at MTL Blog, and it might just be in next week's video. Now that's gonna be it for this week's episode of Anchorman MTL. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe to know what the f is going on in Montreal. And check out mtlvlog.com to find out where the best summer jogging spots are, where to get the best mac and cheese in Montreal, and the latest and greatest of what this city has to offer. Now I need to disguise, because I'm gonna go find myself some celebrities. <laughs> now every week, I tell you to share, like, and subscribe this video, but what does that really mean? You're doing it virtually. That's nice, that's great, I appreciate it. But I want you to do it in real life too, not just to the people you love, to the people you hate. Remind your ex-girlfriend to watch. Remind that boss that fired you to share our links. How about that bully from high school that pinned you down and farted on your face for 17 minutes? Gerald, tell him to subscribe. We'll see you next week.